Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube video, Biology Made Easy. So this is my introductory video that I'm shooting. I'm Shreyan Sharma. I'm an MSc graduate in Biotechnology from Symbiosis School of Biomedical Sciences. And uh, my interest towards teaching is leading me to shoot these YouTube videos. These YouTube videos can be referred as a content or study material for the students who aspire to continue their future in streams of biology. So in this video today, we're going to talk about a very basic thing, which is the structural organization of a living organisms. Okay, sounds like a big name, but it's very easy and a simple thing to understand. In this video, we're going to learn how the life begins and how the constitution of the entire organism happens. Now a universal fact that we need to know, all the matter that is existing in the universe is made up of atoms and molecules. So is your living organisms. To start with, the first level that we understand is the chemical level. Okay. So as we know the atoms and molecules form the basic chemical level or basic structural molecule for any living organism also. So we call these molecules as biomolecules. Now biomolecules, okay, yeah. So I'll write down here, you can make a note so that it's easier for you to remember these. Now I've written here biomolecules. Why am I calling it a biomolecule? The first and foremost reason is because of its involvement in development of life. That's why we call these molecules as biomolecules. Now there are different types of biomolecules which we'll look into in the further videos. But for a general information that you need to know is there is protein, carbohydrate, fats or lipids and also nucleic acids. These are the basic biomolecules that contribute towards the formation of cell. Now cell is your another level of structural organization. So when I'm saying structural organization guys, you need to understand that these molecules will ultimately form the entire structure of the organism. And that's why, and we are learning it level wise, first level, third level, fourth level. And that is why I'm calling it structural organization. So this is how the organized, it's in, a, it's in an organized form. And that is why I'm calling it as structural organization. Okay. So now let's talk about cells. Cells is the basic fundamental structural unit and functional unit of life. Okay. Now biomolecules, when we talk about individually, biomolecules will not be living. Okay. A, a protein is not a living thing. Uh, or uh, for example uh, a fat or a carbohydrate is not a living thing now when we talk about cells they are living okay what is, is what is the basic difference that we need to know when I say living and non-living living cells or living organisms are able to reproduce are able to form its own self and that's why we call them as living one basic characteristic that we need to know is reproduction so cell subdivides and form or give rise to another daughter cell okay that's why we call it as living basic structural unit of life now again this is the this is where the life begins a cell is capable of renewing itself is capable of dividing itself that's why it's the basic structural unit beyond this other levels are higher levels so this is the basic structural unit okay structural unit as I said now functional because cell comprises of different cell organelles itself is like a factory a cell is actually like a factory there are different workers working inside the cell the components of the cell for example plasma membrane and then different cytoplasmic organelles like uh, Golgi body endoplasmic reticulum ribosomes all these actually for work like a factory like it's it's like a unit inside the factory and the entire factory becomes functional that's why we also call it as functional unit of life okay now 
Another higher level when we move is when these cells they come together, okay, and perform a specialized function, okay. So usually in a tissue, it's similar types of cell perform one kind of function. That's why we call it as tissue. Now this tissue is nothing but the group of similar cells. performing specific function so when I say performing specific function which means all the cells will contribute towards performing that function for example we take as a smooth muscle cell and the cluster of smooth muscle cell will form muscle fiber okay so the muscle fiber will be your tissue the role of the muscle fiber will be further in muscular system wherein it will contract and relax in order to help the movement of the body okay that's why we will consider tissue as the group of cells performing a specific function moving ahead these tissues will come together okay now need not to be similar in function there can be multiple tissues forming one particular organ okay so they contribute towards formation of an organ tissues come together and form organ and this is what we call as organ level system okay so here like like I mentioned uh, muscle cells will form muscles okay muscle fibers will come together and form muscles so I'm sorry muscles and that's why here the group of tissue forms a particular structure this particular structure is capable of performing a specific function assigned to it okay for example different organs like your kidney your stomach your heart all these are organs these organs are made up of nothing but tissues those tissues are made up of nothing but cells okay so these organs have a specific structure and have a specific function now different types of organs will coordinate amongst each other okay now for example uh, let's talk about cardiovascular system your heart is one of the organs and similarly your blood vessels are a type of organ when these blood vessels and your heart they coordinate amongst each other okay uh, how is the coordination happening the heart is pumping and the blood is flowing through these vessels okay so this coordination of two organs forms organ system okay this leads to another higher level forming organ system so how is this organ system being formed coordination between multiple organs between multiple organs This coordination between multiple organs ultimately leading to the formation of the organ system. So now let's see the level. The first level is biomolecules, wherein this is the non-living level. So from cells begins the first level, which is considered to be structural and fundamental unit of life. Okay, here where the life begins. Then forms a group of similar cells forms specific function with a specific function forms tissue these tissues they come together with a forms a particular structure having a particular function is called as organ now different multiple organs coming together and coordinating amongst each other forms organ system so now this was the first level second third fourth and fifth now the final level is the formation of organism now different organ systems put in together okay 
is called as organisms. Different organ systems put in together will be called as organisms. Now we'll talk about it in detail about organism and different systems that are present in the human body. So I will be erasing this till then you can make a note of it. Okay guys, I've told you the entire structural level. Now we've reached the final level of it, which is an organism. All these organ systems, they coordinate amongst each other to help the living organism. All right. So an independent organism is the final level. So in a human body, we have different organ systems present. So I'm naming them here. The first one that we need to know is in tell you, I'm sorry, I'll just uh, make it slightly bigger for you to make a note of all the systems. Integumentary, okay, integumentary system, which means integument is a latin word that means covering so this system is entirely focusing on the outermost covering which is your skin and the sensory organs present on your skin or the sensory centers that are present on the skin okay also includes your hair and nails the second one is your skeletal system skeletal system comprises of your bones and cartilages the main function of this system is to support the entire body okay third one now is muscular system muscular system talks about the musculature of the entire body and with the help of skeletal system helps in the movement of the body okay then comes your nervous system nervous system is responsible for your regulatory mechanism and it also re uh, involves uh, brain okay it al also involves a very important organ brain which regulates the entire body then comes your i think let's keep it relative so after the nervous system you should understand another system which is cardiovascular system okay this is also very important guys because there is nerves that regulates uh, the cardiovascular system also which we'll talk about it later but here you need to know cardiovascular system is a system that helps the blood circulation throughout the body okay and also towards your lungs where the blood gets oxygenated and then you have a lymphatic system because see the blood that is being pumped needs to also return and this lymphatic system helps in the return of blood also consists of white blood cells and other immune cells so contributes towards the entire immunity then you have another important uh, system which is your respiratory system as we all know that we are all dependent on oxygen so the exchange of gases uh, takes place because of this system it also comprises of organs like trachea and lungs which are very important for respiration okay then you have digestive system another important system present in the human body reason being the digestion helps in the absorption of the nutrients and the uh, energy giving substances that are required by the human body to function okay so this system is also very important apart from that the filtration that occurs of the blood 
okay is because of the uh, kidney okay and that is an organ which is present in this excretory system okay so excretory system is the system which helps in the filtration of the blood throughout the body then this was this were the main ones another very important system that we need to keep in mind because that helps in the giving birth of the new life is your reproductive system okay now when it comes to reproductive system we have two different sexes present uh, one is male reproductive system the other one is female reproductive system we need to understand the anatomy and the physiology of these systems how embryogenesis takes place and how a new life is formed we need to know these systems very well okay also uh, these systems uh, are linked to another very important system which is your endocrine system okay it doesn't really link this but your endocrine system is another important system that we need to know the reason being these help in secretion of certain hormones and these hormones regulates the growth of the human body also regulate the development of the reproductive systems so endocrine system is another important system that we need to keep in mind when we study physiology okay in the next lecture we're going to talk about what exactly anatomy means and how it is linked to the physiology also for the further information add on the detailed uh, structures and the detailed physiology of these you can refer to my further coming videos okay so thank you for uh, listening to me if you've liked my video please do subscribe to my youtube channel like share and comment and uh, if that has actually helped you to understand please share it with your friends as well thank you so much